I'm gonna go ahead and keep it a buck and say that child exploitation on YouTube needs to stop. All these family friendly channels that are like, you know, focused on the children and families and everything like that. You gotta really think about it that they are just one giant production crew. These aren't really parents that you see on these videos. These are coaches. They're coaching their children into what to say, how to act, what shots to take. They are directors. They're directing their children. For a lot of you guys, you don't know what it's like to have children, but you would need to direct them. You would need to coach them to get some of these videos the way that they are. Like FGTV, you got Ryan's Toy Review. You got a whole bunch of other channels out there that mainly focus on children. A lot of these channels do these competitions where the children are just eating like garbage and seeing how much they can eat or trying these things out for other kids' enjoyment. And that's, again, child exploitation in my book because these kids are too young to consent to be on camera and have their entire life being filmed and showcased to the entire world not to mention all the weirdos that are out there and that leads me to segue to Jordan Cheyenne who is a mom youtuber she does a lot of videos on YouTube about mom stuff vlogging things like that but a lot of them actually focus on her kid or kids in the videos this is a genre of YouTube that I'm not familiar with I'm not really into but a lot of people seem to be into it but what ended up getting exposed or leaked leaked and exposed, she did it on her own by accident, is probably the most disgusting way that I've seen a child be, a child be traumatized, honestly. It is, it is sad to see, honestly. And this, this person, Jordan, she has gone on with apology after apology, uh, saying that she's immensely disappointed with herself. But at the end of the day, this is far more than, than disappointment. This is far more than just one mistake. This is just her getting exposed for something that she more than likely has done every video that the kid has been in. And other family YouTubers do the exact same thing. Look at this and tell me if this is not disgusting. Can't wait for her to bring her home and be part of our family. Put your hand, put your hand right here. Almost like, pray for us. We appreciate it. I love you guys. <laughs> come here. Come closer for the video. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Put your hand, put your hand right here. Come closer. Close your down. Put your head down here. Act like you're crying. Really quick. I am crying. Go like this. No, I'm not. I'm actually seriously crying. No, I know. But go like this. For the video. Go like this. Put one hand up. Go like this. No, go like this. Put your hand like this. But let them see your mouth. Let them see your mouth. Mama, I'm actually crying. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Look at me, look at me. I'm actually crying. I know, look at me, look at me. Look at the camera, look at the camera. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's over, it's over, it's over. So context, this video is a video on their dog that they just adopted. The dog is sick, like, like really bad and they don't know if the dog is going to pull through now whether this is true or not i don't know 110 percent because obviously she's she's pushing this for views she's filming this for views and she's coaching this kid for a thumbnail but with the kid crying the way that he is and he like even the, at the very beginning he's like wailing squealing you know you know because he's sad that this dog is sick it, it seems like it is real and even when she pulls him in and says come on look sad He's like, I am sad. And that is just heartbreaking because a kid is going through this really emotional moment in his life where his dog is sick. And that's something that as a as a as an adult, I I'll never forget when my favorite dog either got sick, ran away, or whatever the case might have been, or I lost him somehow. My parents got rid of him. I don't know. My favorite animal. I used to have horseshoe crabs that, that I got really attached to, and, and then one summer they were gone after I went on summer break. Yeah, like, like, people get attached to their pets, so this is a very pivotal moment in this kid's life, and the mom's like, shh, shh look, look sad. Look at the camera. Look sad. Put your mouth, put your hand in front of your mouth, like coaching the kid on how to act in such a in such an emotional moment for him and i'm telling you this kid is is this is traumatizing moment not only because the dog got sick but also because the mom has no emotion toward this dog she's not sad about this dog she wants the views from this video she wants the views for the continued story she's getting the bag chasing the bag she's got 500 and some 
subscribers on her channel and each video gets like around 30 40 and plus views you know that's that's really pretty decent honestly that's a pretty sizable bag so she's got a lot to lose if this video doesn't look or doesn't do good it doesn't look like it's sad enough when she posts the thumbnail and and the and the caption the title like it, it, like both of them don't match very good she's she's out and and so that's what she's doing here she's coaching this kid to get the saddest looking thumbnail possible and she i guess was busy or too busy or whatever the case might have been to really edit the video thoroughly and she uploaded the entire thing with those bloopers in there i guess you call them bloopers but with those bloopers she's gotten exposed and to me i think youtube should take a a, a stark look at this because she's already gone through she's made several videos now she's deleted all of them she's left an apology and this is kind of how the apology starts and i was just so flustered and emotional all day and like was trying to rush with christian at the end and we were i told him like hey post for a thumbnail like this is a sad video act sad and that's just it's so wrong i should have never done that looking back at the footage i'm so disgusted with myself i want to thank those of you who brought that to my attention um uh, some people were like, oh, she's turning off comments because she's ignoring it. This is not me ignoring it. This is me coming on camera five minutes after it happened. No makeup, nothing coming on and saying, I'm so sorry. Anytime I make a mistake in life or my friends or family do, I'm the first person to say, I will still respect that person if they own it and they say sorry. I was so watching it back. It's just, I think I was just so emotional today and flustered and like, I should never ever have even tried to do a thumbnail on such a video where we have been so emotional all day. Okay, you can tell the apology is bullshit. Like the apology is her trying to come to terms with like what it was. She was just too too sad and she wasn't even thinking and she was rushed. Like this is like the problem with having such an emotional event and, and trying to direct it and like you're part of it too, like and your kid's part of it, like and it's a family thing, like this is why this kind of stuff doesn't need to be on YouTube. Like these things are personal family moments. And I understand if you're a, a if you're a vlogger or whatever, but come on, man. Especially with the kids, like leave the kids out of this. You can have your own vlog video where you talk about it and don't have your kid in there. Don't even have them in there. And that's what she's doing now. She's sweeping her YouTube channel with all the videos of her kid because I think she knows that the heat is so on that, that YouTube's gonna come and start looking at her stuff and seeing if she's exploiting a kid. And that could be the termination of her channel. Like. It, it happened a lot of times. It happened to, I think, the last the mo last famous one was Father of Five or Mother of Five or Father of Six, some bullshit like that, where they were like really fucking with this kid, one of the kids that, that was in this house for views. Like, yeah, that's exactly what she's doing. She's traumatizing this poor kid and her, her, her own son. And now she's sweeping her YouTube channel. So if it was up to me, man, like if I, if I was her, I would just, I would call it quits, boom, get out of there because she's not gonna have a channel for much longer. And if this keeps going the way it is, because there's a lot of bigger YouTubers than myself doing this or commenting on this on this story, yeah, she's she's gonna be out of it. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this terrible situation. This is going to be Sunscape signing off. Take care, guys.